it's very important that we really practice, you know, being who we are and, and being uh, grateful in a way of through action and not just talking and in moments that are not in a state of emergency or, or reaction or in devastation. You know, really think about that. Don't wait to, to value the life of your family or your own personal life when you have something that you can't stop or do anything about shows up at your door. You know, we as a collective are in a reaction. You know, everyone's like, oh, everyone's coming together for Harvey. But it took that to happen for people to take action. It's like, stop waiting till something hits the fan in order for you to respond to people in your life. In order for you to respond to a person that doesn't know you. In order for you to be supportive of someone that has nothing to do with you. Stop making it your business when something, when your bubbles popped. And we're also reminded as well, people, is that life is temporary. We're not here to be here forever. You know, we, we control the earth. We build these roads and we build these homes and monuments and we expect them to last forever. How egotistical are we? And then we get mad and sad when it gets washed away or it gets burned or we have to let it go. It's like, you know, we're, we've lost sight of our temporary existence to make us matter. You know, we do things in permanence to make us matter. We try to leave a legacy to make us matter. Not really for the people who are going to inherit it because when you're gone, who knows what they're going to do. People do what they want to do anyway. Be prepared, okay? Be safe. And make informed decisions. Don't be so reactive. Because we don't know. Until we know. See you guys on the other side of this thing. <laughs>